Hi guys, it's Matt here. So this video is called How Much Code Should a UX Designer Write? And I'm just trying something a little bit different. I've got myself a new document camera. So I'm just going to try this little uh, effect of sketching the blog post that I've written. We'll see how it goes. So last week Luke and I attended Web Directions Code, which is a conference here in Melbourne. We geeked out with a bunch of developers and while I wouldn't consider code to be a core skill for UX designers, although that topic does pop up every now and then and there's usually much heated debate around it, there's definitely advantages to being able to write even a small amount of code. In fact, there's really no reason at all to not at least learn some basic HTML and CSS. And with frameworks like Twitter Bootstrap, uh, being able to prototype a responsive design is definitely within the reach of a non-programmer. And libraries like jQuery are becoming easier to use and more powerful. And with those skills under your, be under your belt, you can start to add transitions and animations and other interactions to your repertoire. So having an understanding of the technology means that you can communicate better with developers. You can be realistic when you're crafting your vision. And it also makes it easier to rapidly prototype ideas rather than you being reliant upon a developer. Lockie Axon, who was our lucky newsletter subscriber, won a ticket to Red Directions Code last week. And you should definitely sign up to our newsletter because there's another awesome deal coming in the next issue. But you do have to be subscribed. Anyway, Lockie agrees with me. He says designers should at least dabble in programming and that you don't really need to be able to code at an expert level. So we're not suggesting that you should all go and become developers. Server-side programming, for instance, is another beast entirely. But, you know, if you're, if you're curious about learning a language like PHP or Rails or Python, it's not like it's going to be time wasted. But like the benefits of being out of program on the server-side probably aren't as obvious as client-side, which has immediate application. So tools like Axia and Balsamic Mockets will always have their place. But if all you want to do is communicate an idea or do some user testing or explore an interaction, especially if it's going to be a responsive site, you could definitely do worse than learn how to create your prototype in the browser using HTML and CSS. That's all for this video. I hope you like this new format and check out my sketch notes below. Cheers.